Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This semifinal match between SK Telecom T1 and Fnatic has come to game five. And with a spot in the finals on the line here going into this fifth game, we have to look at, and I think for the first time during this tournament, ask ourselves, what adaptations is SKT going to make yeah. in order to win this series? Sheepy, as the coach, what would you tell them? Um, it is really interesting because I didn't expect this kind of... Uh Thing to happen for SKT and I think SKT didn't expect that. I was rooting for Fnatic because I know how strong they are and they're putting their A game here. Um, I think SKT needs to start looking for weak spots, maybe banning out one particular uh, player from Fnatic, but who do you ban out in this situation? Well, you definitely don't go after Yellowstar. They're throwing two bans at him to get rid of Reliable and Gage, and he's still stepping up to the table. He's also single-handedly just winning the bottom lane, giving them the level two start, immediately engaging, and, going into brush, and like basically mind-gaming them, saying, I'm either roaming, you don't have vision of this, and then he wraps around them. Those are just huge plays he's able to make that just win them the lane and overcome like some weaknesses that Steelback has been having in the series. They also try to put bans on Steelback, and in the pre-game interview that they were giving, Wolf has said that, yeah, our bottom lane is stronger. We can probably just win off the bottom lane, but Steelback's holding his own. I think that they should probably target Bibivin, you know? All the advantages that SKT is getting is usually just from the mid lane. Faker's holding his own against Vivian. <laughs> who who would have thought you would say we were like that? I mean, after dying two times in the solo lane. But you need to be able to spill over Faker. He needs to help the sides because they're losing on their own. Like you have to do a full emergency here. Yeah, isn't it amazing? Even Marin said he thought he could win the top lane as well. So we have all these lanes that thought they should be winning, and now we're just back at square one. Put all your chips on the best player of the world, see if he can do some work. Yeah, yeah. and Fnatic's really hard to read because they've had a game where every player on their team has carried a game before. Yellowstar carried a game, Huni carried a game, Febivin was getting solo kills, and Rainover also carried from the jungle, and Steelback had a good performance as well. So getting a read on this team is going to happen mid-game, early game. Who's starting to get ahead? How do you shut it down? And that's going to be really big here for SKT to assess strengths mid-game. And I think they need to be on their toes. Like, every second will matter in this game. And if they get any kind of lead to snowboard as hard as possible, because if you going to give any kind of edge to any of those teams, they will just take it and go away with mm -hmm. it. Yeah, it makes you wonder if SKT is going to be able to match the aggression, you know, make champion picks that are going to be dominant in lane as opposed to passive and look to extend to the late game. Yeah, well, they go one or two way. They either match the aggression all out, try and pick themselves something aggressive in the mid lane especially, or they throw up even more, like, disengage in there, look for, like, Jarnas to come out and things like that to just try and get... Fnatic out of their face. I think they are either will go one way or the other. They will go full out aggression, try and match it, or they will just try and put up the biggest brick wall they can find. I'm excited. Zyrene, it was mentioned that Nunu was kind of the big issue for Rain over the previous time these teams played. Is that something we might look for Bangy to go to? It's slightly more comfortable champion form. Maybe he can play the you know the jungle map as opposed to the pressure map over against Rain over. Well, Bangy didn't really have that much of a stellar Nunu performance. I know it synergizes extremely well within his and if they're going to pick Azir, I would like to see that alongside it, as opposed to what he played last game. The Sejuani, like, that wasn't really that great in Bengi's hands. And they don't have Tom here to pick up the reins and play the Nunu and play the Sejuani. So right now they're blue side, so I think Rek'Sai and Gragas are the high priority here. I, if, he, if Bengi doesn't get one of them, I'd be very surprised and it'd be good on Fnatic, but I think he's going to get at least one of those early game junglers. All right, we're going to keep this conversation going, but before we get into game five, I want to pull up your guys' predictions from earlier, see if any of you have had a little change of heart, maybe. So we're going to get those up. Spawn, you still holding fast to your prediction? Yeah, I am actually holding fast to my prediction. If you go all in on one player in the world, I would give it to Faker. As much as I love EDG, he is just so good. Is the reverse profit so good, he makes <laughs> SK Telecom lose their first <laughs> international best oh, of five? Yeah. <laughs> Everything uh. is on the line. And I still stay with Fnatic. I think Fnatic has a really strong showing. They really want it. They have so much will. Behind them, they have young players. They have four rookies. I can just repeat that one more time, and I think we're going to see Fnatic come out ahead. I'm going to go with Fnatic as well, just like you. I All saw, right. like, we've seen come this over. before. These players don't know. <laughs> they, I don't think they know how to recover. They're used to getting subbed out. What do the, what do the coach tell them? Like, they've never really had to tell, hey, Bengi, this is how you recover. It's like, no, nah, bring in Tom. So just to be clear, the prophet himself 
is going back on his word here. Are, in a sense, in a, a, sense, rule? In a, sense, a rule align with that? the anti-prophet. <laughs> I mean, this is all playing out perfectly. This is why there's <laughs> testament after testament sometimes, you know? Exactly. That's why there's the Book of Mormon. It's the third part. So anyway, I'm going to go with SKT still. Okay. I feel like Blue Side has a good advantage in this series and that we've seen that victory over and over again throughout it. So. All right, well, it all comes down to a single game to decide who will claim the first spot in tomorrow's finals. So let's send it over to the caster booth for Picks and Bands. Thank you very much, Dash and the analyst desk. We are in game number five. Fnatic, after a dominating game four performance, now have to buck the trend and win on red side if they want to upset the pre-tournament favorites. No team has won on red yet today. One band that we haven't really talked about yet that I want to bring up is Lulu. And coming into this for, for Fnatic, you'd think, why do they keep on banning the Lulu, considering they nearly beat the Lulu in the first place, but against Forbidden's Champion?